Imagine this. You dedicate hours of your life, farming seemingly endless amounts of materials. Mining 10,000, 100,000, 500,000, 1.5 million gold. You venture bravely into unexplored territory, map out the crystal hollows, give up and install a mod instead, and conquer the crystal nucleus again and again and again. Bypass hordes of goblin armies, find a secret to the jungle temple, and occasionally left click to make one of each type of perfect gemstone. Combine all that with enough money to fill 17,252 Olympic swimming pools, yes, I did the maths, and days of travelling to find an incredibly rare structure, and then you've done it. You can finally afford the most prestigious, powerful pet in the game, the Golden Dragon. Well, maybe aesthetics aren't quite its thing, but surely the stats are good. At least it bounces, I guess. The Golden Dragon is the hardest pet to level up. Every other pet maxes at level 100, whereas for this guy, it's a requirement. Below level 100, there are no benefits to it whatsoever. Now, this should be fine. Normally I just put an XP boost on it and mine for hours, but the admins decided that eggs can't equip said XP boosts, which only tells you after you've bought the item and tried to equip it. This is only a minor setback should the dragon be like any other pet. However, to max its level, it requires a total of over 210 million XP. Quite a bit more than 25 million needed for any other. The time commitment needed to achieve this is valued at approximately the same price as the pet itself, which I really can't afford right now. So, how can we level it up? The most commonly used skills for leveling up pets are combat, mining, enchanting, and alchemy. Alchemy is extremely expensive, and as we have already established, I don't have the funds for extremely expensive. So that's eliminated. Enchanting can only really be done a few times a day, and is more of a bonus than a method in itself. Plus, it only awards 1 12th of XP gain as pet XP, so that's gone too. Combat and mining are the best options then. Combat will be three times more effective, as it is the same skill type as the pet. But mining is a lot easier, and I have a pretty good setup already. So, with the power of Mithril, and a bit of help from the minions, it wasn't long until he reached level 80. Conveniently, an update to the B3 came out straight after, adding a bunch more mobs that are counted towards milestones. Milestones happen to reward millions of combat experience, which is exactly what we need. Enough experience, in fact, to add another 29 levels, now totaling 109. Great, you would think. We're over halfway. Well, if you think that, you would be wrong. We're not even an eighth done, due to the rather insane scaling experience requirements. It's not all bad news, though, as now that the dragon is officially hatched, he can finally... Hold? XP boosts. I don't know either, he doesn't seem to have hands. Anyway, combat experience has suddenly got 40% more valuable, and so I decided to farm it through running floor 6, as the giants in the boss fight each give quite a bit. The technique probably wasn't the most optimised, especially considering I only have one friend, but after a while, the dragon began to gain quite a few levels, going all the way from 109 to 116. Trust me, it's better than it sounds, but it's still not good. By now, I've tried all of the methods I could think of, and we're still not even 25% done so I had to resort to my final, ultimate tactic. Quitting for six months. Now hear me out on this one. The efficiency of most methods relies on my attention span and time allocation. So, if instead we offset this to some minions, then all I have to do is occasionally log in and claim their hard work for my own. I've basically invented capitalism. So after exploiting some unpaid workers for labour, the pet gained another 21 levels and I'd made a lot of money. Obviously, I reinvested my newfound riches to reward the extremely hard-working snow- Just kidding, I bought a bunch of cosmetics. But my gear looks cool now, right? Fortunately for me, I wasn't going to have to wait much longer for minions, as another new update had just released. Yes, this video took me a while, okay. Skyblock patch 0.19.9 the pet trainer update. Yeah, it's completely useless. A small update added Taming 60 and a way of levelling up your pets while you're not online. Basically what I'm doing already, but with the added price of 326 million coins. Now of course the feature was immediately disabled when added to the server, but when it is accessible, there are a few ways of reducing this extortionate cost. Namely, upgrading your taming skill and using a now pet. I have more than enough taming experience already stored, but to upgrade the cap you have to donate some pets to George, which of course immediately shot up in price. I already had the Rift Ferret, so I got level 51, but the slug was a bit out of my budget for now. Now the owl pet. While cheap to acquire, it only reduces the cost of training sessions by a percentage dependent on how much you have already previously spent which is, as you can imagine, not very useful, especially as it caps out at just 5% off. But to test out the new feature, and make a bit of progress towards the discount, I decided to test it out anyway, spending 4.7 million for just one level. At this point, it wasn't looking good. It would take too long to level manually, or cost too much to train it. 
Prices slashed, experience gained drastically raised. What once cost over 350 million, now is less than 150. So I immediately retrieved my pet from training, claimed my minions for a couple extra levels, and spent half my bank on training until level 200. This might be a problem, but fortunately, I believe I have a solution to it. A Kaduka's feeder. It does cost quite a bit, but it can be used twice a day, and grants more XP than an entire day of pet training. I want to get this video done before April, so I guess that's what we're doing. And, apparently, it even refunds you for the skip training time, bringing the cost down massively. So after logging on to feed my pet for the next 20 days, I could finally claim my long-awaited prize. But there was a problem. You hadn't subscribed to the Charlie Jack YouTube channel. Please do it, please. please. I mean, numbers go up, go up, please. Go up. Please. Numbers please. Please. Done it, okay cool. And after buying a skin for 70 million coins, our journey has finally concluded. Unfortunately, the pet is basically useless because I'm broke. At least it looks cool, I guess. Thanks for watching. Sorry I left for like seven months. The next video should be out quite a bit sooner, I hope. I'm also trying out something a bit different, so some of the assets that I made for this video will be available on my second channel linked in the description, so that you can use them in your own videos if you want. Let me know if this helps you.